Sprites. And so in this exercise, you will demonstrate an understanding and proficiency with Photoshop's photo merge tools, as well as the techniques required to composite portrait photographs with the purpose of doing photographic head swaps. And so just like I showed you guys before, um, we're going to be practicing and um, experimenting with those different tools. Your deliverables for this assignment um, should all be in a compressed zip folder uploaded to D2L. Um, it'll include four finished JPEG files. So there's two different head swap files that need to be there, and there's two different panoramics that will need to be in there as well. Um, let me pause here for a second. Let's jump over and take a look at the examples. I've included finished examples that you need to be replicating now. Um, so the head swaps here, um, the one we did in the demo is one of the ones that you'll be doing here in, um, in your assignment as well. And so we've got those two files, head swap one, one and two, and this is the example there for you. Um, so you can see it's a nice finished example. Yours should look just as good as this. And then we've got a more complex one with several boys. Um, and there's actually three different files associated with this one in order to get uh, all the children's heads uh, looking uh, at the camera and smiling. And so the finished example uh, will look like this. Again, um, all of the boys' heads are looking good here. Uh, these two boys in the middle, uh, their heads were not swapped. It is this boy here and this boy here who have had their heads swapped. Um, and so you'll be needing to take uh, follow the directions. It outlines which image should be your base and which ones you'll be selecting the heads from. So uh, pay attention to that, making sure that you're selecting the best heads in the right base layer or base file, excuse me. Um, but those are your examples then for your head swaps. And then let's take a look over at the panoramics. And the panoramics uh, will be utilizing the same six files, again, that I used in my demo. Uh, but you'll be creating uh, one uh, standard uh, panoramic like this, which is like we did in the demo, um, exactly the same as we did in the demo. You'll be doing um, one just like this. Um, but you'll also be doing a second one, like I mentioned, using the collage feature. Um, so follow the directions, we'll review them here in just a second, but using the collage uh, feature of the photo merge tool, we're able to just uh, align the different photographs and reposition them so that they create this, uh, this uh, panoramic, uh, but then using a, a few other tools um, like adjustment layers and uh, layer styles, we can kind of create this really uh, fun technique and some people go really crazy with this and you see these really cool cityscapes uh, done like this. And so it's a really interesting uh, method of working. And so I wanted to definitely have us experiment with that as well, kind of creating a, an interesting art piece here for us. And so let's take a look back at the assignment and uh, walk you guys through this. And so um, the head swaps are, are straightforward. They're just uh, going to take some time and some finesse uh, with your uh, layer masks and brush and selections. Um, to get right and so in head swap one here you'll just be moving through the uh, through the directions here just as we did before in the demo um, head swap two like I mentioned is um, the same technique but it's a little bit more complicated because you're pulling uh, selections from multiple photographs putting them onto one base file and then blending them together and in this one in the head swap two you will need to change the size and rotations of your selections in order for them to match up because the children have moved and the photographer has moved slightly as well. And so, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you will have to be working with the rotate and move uh, uh, transform tool to get them to look just right. Um, panoramic one is exactly as we did it in the demo and so that's pretty straightforward. Um, Panoramic 2, however, is a little bit more complicated to do. Um, again, so let's review this then. Um, you open all the images in the Photoshop. You apply the photo merge technique. Um, uh, increase the canvas size. Uh, excuse me. Um, I'll, I'll be updating this as I'm reading through now. I'll be uh, updating this um, for you guys. But this will say uh, in here, 
there you go, uh, with the collage setting. And so you guys will see that. My mistake, I'm so sorry for that. Anyways, you apply the photo merge technique uh, with the collage setting um, so that it orients the photos the, the appropriate way here. Um, and then you go in and you need to actually increase the canvas size uh, for both the width and the height uh, by 120%. And this is going to give you that uh, area around the, uh, the images so you kind of looks more like it's been um, placed on a canvas purposefully versus having these weird uh, small edges around the, the photographs. Uh, you'll need to create a new solid fill layer of white and drag it to the bottom uh, of the layer panel to create a white background. Disable actually the layer masks now. Um, you need to disable the layer mask because it's trying to blend the photos together with the, the layer masks and in this case we don't want those weird edges. Um, so you need to actually disable the layer mask. Remember that's shift clicking then on the layer mask to disable them. Um, and then you're going to apply drop shadow and an inside stroke of white uh, via the layer styles to each layer. Um, and you can refer to the example that I've given you guys as to how it should look. And you can kind of experiment with the shadows and inside stroke uh, to get the look just right. Um, and so I'll actually show this one to you now uh, as it's probably the most complicated uh, and we haven't taken a look at it yet. So uh, the first thing I'll do is let's go into Photoshop, make sure they're not open if they're not open. Um, so we need to go in, I'll drag these images down here into Photoshop, wait for them to open, uh, then I need to go File, Automate, Photo Merge, and we'll go choose Collage this time, and we'll add the open files, and hit OK. Again, we need to kind of twiddle our thumbs, wait a minute here for Photoshop to do its thing. Okay, so Photoshop has now um, done what it needs to do. And so I'm going to go in here and um, let's see here. I'll uh, go in here and I'm just going to add a new layer and I'll fill it with white and drag that to the bottom. And uh, let's see here. Let's go to image and canvas size. We'll change these guys over to percent and uh, We'll increase it by 120% and hit OK. And on my background layer here, because I did it first, I'm going to need to fill it back again with white. And uh, then your image should look something like this. Uh, we will need to shift click our layer mask, like I said before, to make sure we disable those layer masks. And then it's a real simple act of going in here to the layer styles and adding uh, these different effects. So I'll go to stroke first, make sure my color is white and that the position is inside. And then you can adjust the size of this. Um, there's some leeway there. I chose 18 pixels as my desired size, but you can go ahead and choose um, any of the sizes you want, um, you know, around this size. Uh, but I'll have some leeway there for you. Um, the next thing that we'll be including on this is a drop shadow. And uh, you can change the settings, play them around, play around with them if you'd like. Uh, but when you're done, we'll go ahead and hit OK. And then the simplest, rather than having to recreate that for each one, is just to go to, if you remember, uh, we'll click on the layer style here and go to Copy Layer Style. And then we can click on the next layer and right click and hit Paste Layer Style. And we can continue to click on the layer, right clicking and pasting the layer style. And it'll continue to do that for us, giving us this, this new effect as we go. And let's get the last one here. And there you go, we've got this kind of interesting uh, panoramic now. And so uh, this now is ready to be saved. We can go ahead and save this as a JPEG. And this is uh, the final piece of your assignment nine that needs to be turned in again. Uh, all four of them should be JPEGs. They should all be turned in uh, in one zip file uh, to the D2L Dropbox for assignment nine. So uh, thanks, guys. I hope you uh, have fun. And uh, email me uh, and let me know if you have any questions.